Hey guys, I thought I'd talk about a do-it-yourself algae scrubber that I put in the back of my Nano Cube. Uh, Nano Cube rear compartments don't have room for like a protein skimmer, which is the way most reefers export nutrients. Others do it through refugiums in their sumps. I don't have a sump, and I really don't have room for a protein skimmer. So I went with a tried an algae scrubber. This is all a big experiment, and uh, this is what I came up with. So I built, the back of the bio cube has a, like a black contact paper on it. The contact paper peels off pretty easy with a razor blade. And you could replace it by just going and getting like some black contact shelf paper and sticking it back on if you didn't like it once you took it off. I took mine off and I built a little um, do-it-yourself light. I bought a roll of these, I actually bought two rolls of these lights on eBay and they're just uh, about 15 feet long and they're remote controllable they come with a remote and everything and they'll do red green blue and if you turn them all on they'll do white so I've been experimenting with them and I soldered a bunch of smaller strips together on this light and put it on the back of my nano cube and I still have the remote hooked up so I can change the lighting. I've been trying more red, more this, but basically I think I found the mixes. Just leave them all on and it really gives you all the colors with the white. Um, this many strips, I don't know, what do we got in there? About two, three feet? I can run that on a um, one amp wall wart instead of like a, a five amp that the whole roll requires. So, I built it in the back here. I don't keep my nano cube lid hinged because, as you can tell, my man cave is in an attic room. So, I don't have the ability to tip it up. So, I just leave it off and I can move it back and forth this way. What I did was I took this plastic canvas, like you would see at Walmart, and it's under a dollar a sheet. And I built a small piece like this. I put a little bit of this um, light diffuser as a frame to keep it rigid. Um, the one that's in there, I built right up to the edge. And when I was putting it in, the lip of the nano cube, actually, I forgot about that. So I wasn't able to get it in without really squeezing it. So when I take this one out, I'm probably going to break it. That's why I went and made another one where I can actually bend this over and get it into the nano cube. So let's see what we got. Uh, throw a little filter floss on top of that. And you will see the water cloud up as I pull out the filter floss. Then I took the sponge that comes with it and I cut it into this shape here. You'll see why in a minute. Yeah. Let's get that out of there. See if we got any growth on it. Pretty much have to flex it. It's probably going to break by the time I get it out of here. Yeah, we'll just break it and pull it out. Better yet. And in a couple of weeks, I got some growth front and back so it takes a while to break in so of course the new one's going to take a while to break in I'm going to stick this one right in here feed my snails in my macro tank um, so I export the nutrients from this tank I put them into this tank the snails eat that algae it breaks down and maybe my macro algae gets the nutrient from it we'll see right now there's no fish in the macro algae tank so um, it's experimenting is okay <laughs> I haven't decided what I'm gonna put in there yet either let's hope this fits uh, much better yeah, this will actually be usable now The other thing with a nano cube 
is if you did fit even the Coral Life BioCube skimmer in here, as soon as you stick your hand in any part of this tank, whether it be the back sump or in the front, you raise the level drastically. So if you forgot to turn that off, you would just flood it right out anyway. It's my opinion. I've seen people use it. Um, I believe the 28 gallon, the hood only comes to here and leaves this open. So, you know, research before you buy it. But, let's see, we'll put that sponge back. Again, I'll give it a little rinse in there. Throw this in here. And replace some filter floss in there. Let's see if I can come in and actually show you how it sits in there. Mm, you probably need more light to see. That's it sitting in there. I originally tried it in the middle chamber, but now I just have that filled up with rubble rock. And it seems to be working out pretty good. Okay, well if you liked any of this content here, Please subscribe, there'll be more. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll subscribe to your channel. I mean, I don't know why it isn't just that way on YouTube. You click a button, it doesn't cost anything. And uh, again, thanks for watching.